just arrived. <laughs> Kevin's got his headlamp on, but as you can see, it is dark outside. So my plan actually was to try and show you a bit more of like life in the motorhome this weekend. So obviously we'll just do it. Kevin does all the outside stuff, which in a motorhome is so easy. It's just plug in power and electricity. They're the same thing. Power and electricity, no, power and water, <laughs> get there. And like it takes him and put down the stabilizing legs and it probably takes him five minutes, 10 minutes maximum, but it's probably honestly more like five minutes. And obviously it's dark, I'm just closing up all the curtains and I just tidy up and do that. That's really my job in here. So it's very, very, very easy. We love the motorhome because it's so easy to use, but I'm going to try and just film a bit more of our time here because we're not going to do a lot. We'll probably walk into town some stage, walk to the beach some stage. We are near the water, but some of the sites in this caravan park actually overlook the water, but we booked it too late for that. So we've got a road right behind us. You can't see it now. We obviously see it probably tomorrow. So it should be nice and quiet anyway, so that's not too bad. But you can hear the ocean. Just can't see it from here. But anyway, we're away and we're relaxing. Not quite as atmospheric as we like for a caravan park, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, it was last minute decision to come because of the good weather and I think a lot of people had the same idea, so we couldn't be too choosy with what side we went for. You'll notice our bed is not made up because we actually didn't plan. We thought the last time we went away, we wouldn't be coming away again because it's winter. So we stripped all the bedding off to wash and now we've got to remake the bed. And I can see Mr. Whiston out there with his headlamp on. So dinner tonight, always the night we come away, it's an easy night, an easy dinner that I pre-prepared. So we're just having some potato soup and breadstick, which I'm just buttering. Kieran's just made up the bed. I had to turn the quilt over because I couldn't see my nice llamas. Now I can. Line? Yeah, so the Wi-Fi here of this side of the park, he said, wasn't very good. So Kevin's got what you have for uh, our internet. Uh, 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 internet wife, uh, wireless router thingy. Okay, that sounds exciting. <laughs> um, you should tuck the quilt in at the end. Yes. All right, dinner's nearly ready anyway, so we will have that now. So now that dinner's over, <laughs> Kevin, we're in bed. Kevin, well, no, you're in bed. It is very late. Yeah, it's like 6:35. <laughs> Kevin's in bed. I'm not washing up tonight because we've only got the few things, so we'll do that in the morning. But I'm gonna sit over there. Um, I can't stand being in bed too long. My back gets too sore. Oh, I've got all the shadows. So I'm gonna watch a bit of YouTube, I think. And I'll go to bed when I'm ready, a few hours probably. That's kind of it for tonight. That's how we end our nights in the motorhome.
boy to live on Saturday. It's got my hat on because the sun's kind of in my eyes. I'm sitting obviously outside, as you can tell. It's a full setup with <laughs> the spare chair. Luckily, we have three chairs, but my back's sore. This is a probably the most comfortable seating arrangement I can find in the motorhome. Um, yeah, just move walk around the park as you saw. It's very nice. We did go and cry about moving sites only because we happen to have very noisy neighbours. I'll try and remember to show you later on. They've actually got three sites, so it's a big group of, I don't know, big group anyway. And they were quite noisy last night. Um, they were, luckily it wasn't too late, they did sort of stop their music and the talking. By about 11 I think they had stopped, it was at 10 o'clock, quite time. I, just, I said to Kevin, it's really unfortunate, they've got three sites, but they set up the social van and social area right beside us rather than put it in the middle side at least where it would have been further away I'll show you later on it looks really weird how they've done it like we, we, thought, we knew they had two sides but when we had three sides they should have set up in the middle and they reversed the van inside what we did not supposed to do but I don't think the lady we spoke to who was too impressed with them <laughs> but she did say she told security just to keep an eye on there keep an eye on them tonight <laughs> for noise because there's only one other site available and it's not as nice an area but um next time we come we will come back we will try to get one of those ones over there near the water which um, will be quieter. The other problem with our neighbours is they've already started drinking and they've gone off to a party. They're all dressed up and gone to a party. Uh, can't be too far away because they are carrying essence, but then they couldn't drive because they're drinking anyway. So I just hope, we're just hoping they'll get partied out while they're away and when they come home they'll be quiet. But there's a good chance they'll be drunk and be even rowdier than they were last night. If it's bad again tonight, we'll just go home late tomorrow afternoon rather than spending Sunday night here. Are you just complaining? I am, I am complaining. I've got to inform. <laughs> You've been complaining too, Kevin. You were complaining before because you couldn't go to sleep, but Kevin just turned off his hearing aids and it becomes magically better. <laughs> just we're not used to it. And we didn't expect it. I don't know why. We probably should have been a long weekend, but it's been a long time since we've been away like beachside at a long weekend, but I think we've just been unlucky. Probably any other site in the park. <sighs> we've just got the noisiest one. Anyway, that's my complaint for the day. I will show you how this out later on. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just a winger. But like, this is our other neighbours, they're right here. They're far away from us. But um, yeah, they were noisy. But anyway, enough winching. I'm gonna do some reading and relaxing outside. I just had a call from reception to say that they found us a spot. They've moved things around or something and we're relocating up. We're actually filmed earlier today, so it's a very nice spot. Chemist is packing up outside. We're kind of just been doing a makeshift pack up inside, just moving the essential things. But I'm just going to show you what we they obviously understood. Like, this is our site here, and that this is their social area. But yet, they've got the next two sites up. They could have easily gone with like the car is, made that their social area, and then this wouldn't be so noisy. We're going to have a nice view, and it's only going to take him a few minutes to dismantle a few things. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to go and move. We're just going to throw the chairs and stuff in the in the motorhome. Oh, I don't know if we're going to throw them in there or throw them in there, but we're not going to pack them all up properly anyway. So I'll just do this while Kevin does his stuff. But yeah, we'll have a much nicer location. Well, it's like five minutes later, and we've moved into a new spot. That well, sounds right where we stood. We came exactly on this site before to look at the surf. Now you can hear the waves nice and loud. And this is like the path, which obviously at times will be a bit noisy and billy, but busy. But, so nice. Yeah, it was like, that was probably not even 15 minutes from one side to the next, including our <laughs> set up time. But yeah, much improved view. And it's going to be nice and quiet. Well, it's a much nicer view, but what, we haven't got the other curtains open up because we couldn't see anything out of them. Of course I'm going to have a good view. Really? Well, not from that spot, but I'll can... move back now to the other side. I can see a nice ocean. So can I. Only if you're sitting up, not from lying in your bed. Lie down in your I bet bed, I can. you'll see nothing. Well, you're not lying down in your bed either. I get to, from here where my head is, I can see water <laughs> and waves and rocks. I bet I can see and water. trees and sky. Much improved. <laughs> And if there's any burbs, I'll see them too. For 15 minutes and an extra $10 a night, well, worthwhile investment. That is much nicer. 
After a bit of umming and ahhing, we decided we are going to go into town, into Huskisson. I think it's like a 10 minute walk. Got a slight headache, but I figured we'll just take an easy walk. And uh, there's a vegetarian cafe in there, so we'll probably go and grab some lunch from there and just have a little look around. That's the more modern version of our See some sights. That one. It's the same. That's an experimental key. Oh, the same as ours. They've got the big window at the back. Yeah, it looks nice, isn't it? Based on the that kitchen window is so much bigger. That's the kitchen window. That's like we've only got a small little kitchen window. I like the key of them. Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting another one. So that's the entrance to the park. And you come down here and the beach is right there. And that's the path that we're going to walk around into town. I didn't realise it's literally like a block down that way to the other caravan park that we set at last time we came here. Did it fall down? I don't know, probably. Yeah, I guess so. Probably is. Five minutes later we've reached kind of one end of town anyway and it was a nice nice flat easy walk people on the vlog cuts <laughs> what does it smell like comfort food barbecue probably for a little van there so something i did read what it was like the arts festival or something like that on at the moment so we've got like some juggling and the gelato truck. No. So this is like Huskus and Main Street. Not much to it, we've got to try and find where we're going. Something's on the other side as well. got the vegan, what was it, meaty mushroom pie. We haven't got the vegan one as well. And we're sharing the fries and salad. It's really good. was very nice we both enjoyed that vegan pie although it wasn't the pie that was advertised the advertised a meaty mushroom pie that was a curried vegetable pie but it was very good <laughs> cleaned both our plates and um yeah we just have wandered to a few of the shops and went to the supermarket got a few things as kevin bought himself a, a lemon lime pie kevin is that what you got yep. his hand. 
only a packet. You can't really see it through the powdered <laughs> paper. So they wanted some cream to go with his lemon lime pie. <laughs> so we've got some cream and some hummus and a dressing for a salad that we'll have tomorrow. I'm going to make our salad and take it down to the beach tomorrow. It's supposed to be sunny. So that's why I thought we'd go into town today when it's all overcast and a bit cooler. I'm even wearing long sleeves, but I'm not cold. <laughs> anyway, we're heading back now. And yeah, we're probably spending the afternoon reading. So we've kind of moved inside now. Well, I've been inside for a little while because Kevin got a rain warning. But the rain actually hasn't eventuated. But it's turned quite cold outside now. Not the most pleasant. But it's winter. We weren't even expecting to be away now. So not too bad. I'm just making another cup of tea. We've lit the diffuser. I don't know what Kevin's doing. Are you on your... What are you on Reddit? Yes, I'm trying to stay warm. <laughs> He's in bed. Because it's cold. <laughs> and I'm just sitting over here. And I'm going to start a book. Finish the other one. I'm going to start a new one. I had a lemon lime cake. Yeah, Kevin ate his lemon lime tart. Like and I can read and look at at the same time. With cream. There's someone actually in the water. There's a surfer. There's a surfer in the water. Just over picking up our pizza because wife wouldn't come back. Seventeen? Yep. <laughs> 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 ah. Continuation of the filming that I was made to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna stick your tongue out like you did before. <laughs> now let's look at these pizzas. I was very impressed that they had vegan cheese. That's mine with the vegan cheese. He said he struggled to get it to burn a little bit because it's supposed to burn in the wood fired oven, so there you go. It's supposed to burn what? I don't know, there's something. Alright, next. Oh, got the crustles first. Next. It smells good. And that's a proper pizza. That's not I think, vegan. I think mine looks way better than yours. <laughs> 